Well, TV host John Oliver did visit the city of Danbury to check out the sewer treatment plant that now bears his name. Yeah, two weeks ago, the city council voted to name it the John Oliver Memorial Sewer Plant, the culmination of a playful back and forth between Oliver and the city's mayor, Mark Bowen. Well, yesterday it became official. That's when John Oliver visited the newly named sewer plant. If you're going to forget a town in Connecticut, why not forget Danbury? Because behind me, you'll see the city of Danbury sewer plant. And we are going to rename it the John Oliver Memorial Sewer Plant. Why? Because it's full of <laughs> just like you, John. But I've just been murdered by the city of Danbury, and I love everything about this. And that is the playful back and forth that we were talking about. Now, the deal was if Oliver donated $55,000 to local causes and showed up to the ribbon cutting, Dan Barry would get it done. And of course, they did. They did it over the weekend. And joining us on the phone now, Danbury Mayor Mark Bowden, who posted a picture to social media a little while ago of him and John Oliver in front of the sign. So that's how we knew the visit finally happened. Mr. Bowden, good morning. Tell us all about it. I am so excited. I am giddy. I, I, I haven't been able to sleep. It's been the most incredible 48 hours here in the great city of Danbury, as we have officially named our sewer plant the John Oliver Memorial sewer plant. So there you go. It's been done and the money is flowing in. So it's just been a great uh, couple of days. And we will get to the money in a second because that's always an important part. We touch on it every time you call in. But first, all right, so tell us how everything went. What was it like when he showed up? A big entourage? I thought I saw a picture of him wearing some ridiculous looking PPE that made him look like he was out of lost in space or something. He did come with a moon suit. We'll have video up soon. And uh, it uh, had a, a fan in it and a motor, and it kept him cool and uh, definitely gave him purified air. I just wore a you know surgical mask. But uh, this was the first time he's been out of his apartment since uh, you know this whole uh, COVID uh, pandemic started. So for him, it was kind of a big deal. I didn't realize that. But, uh, yep, he came with a full entourage, all of his producers and ex production assistants and so forth. And, um, you know, we had my one person but we we got it done and um it was very exciting and uh, he was very gracious too uh, I, I take it that means there's going to be another segment on his show about danbury yes <laughs> i don't know i think we pretty much beat this one to death but you never know what i'm cooking up in my office <laughs> that is good all right on to the money tell us uh, where does the fundraising uh, stand right now who else has gotten involved since last time we talked well, th three banks are, are driving this. It's feeding our neighborchallenge.org. That's the website, and we're up over sixty thousand dollars just on that side. Plus, Mr. Oliver's fifty-five thousand dollars. So we're about one fifteen to one twenty. And again, we we really want to be at two hundred thousand by Thanksgiving. That's our goal. Two hundred thousand dollars by Thanksgiving. That's a good way to try to keep this thing going. And uh, a part of that, hopefully, bit by bit, will be the tours you're offering. We keep laughing about this. You said, uh, I think, last week when we checked in with you four families have taken you up on the offer have any more taken you up oh on yeah the that's offer now up to seven uh so three more families have pitched in 500 each to our local food pantry and i'm taking them over for an official mayor mark bowden tour of the john oliver memorial sewer plant so uh, they also okay. will get a free swag bag from the uh, vendor that operates our sewer plant so it, it's really just a glorious uh, event as you walk through and 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 you you just sense all of the beautiful senses and aromas and things like that. It's, yeah. it's a great time. And it looks like just from the picture that uh, you put up, there's a nice patio there with, with flowers, too, so you can bring a lunch and make a day of it. That's our new picnic area where those uh, business people and, and travelers can pull over and maybe enjoy a nice meal while watching us process waste. Wonderful. All right, Mr. Bowden, thank you so much uh, for giving us a nice little uh, coda to this story. It's uh, good to talk to you again. All the best, everybody. Thanks. All right, take